what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be guiding you guys through mixing and mastering and i'm going to be using um, fl studio stock plugins so the first thing that we want to do is create some headroom now what is headroom you ask let's go to google headroom is the loudest part of your song peak level it should be around minus 3 db to minus 5 db below zero um level like below zero you know under that it's uh, this is considered um the plus 3 db to 5 db of headroom so this is just a space that you are leaving for the mastering process because the mastering process is just going to be you adding uh more uh, loudness to your track basically so you need to leave room to your track so i'm going to play this track that i have open right here and i'm going to show you where it's at so this could be your track so when you're producing you're not worrying about mixing or mastering you're just worrying about uh making your track slap or your beat sound really nice and that's all you worrying about and that's all and cool so let me play this track right now and just um watch my mixer and see my levels i'll just put it right here so as you can see what's going on you can see it's very loud So you can immediately see that my track is going over 0 dB. So which means it's loud, it's coming in really hot, especially the part where the log drum and the snare comes in because I want it to really be loud and I want it to slap. So it sounds fine, but um, it's not really uh, appropriate for uh, a master. So this track is not ready to be mastered. So normally what... Um, amateur producers do they just start adding a ton of effects here on the effects slot to uh add mastering to this but not creating headroom so that's what i'm going to show you now so what we're just going to do is i have some uh, tracks that are already sent to the mixer but i'm just going to send the rest to some empty tracks so i'm just going to select them and just press Control l and just send them to a uh, free mixer tracks there we go so you can see them all the way over here. So what I'm going to do to create headroom is I'm going to lower my whole mixer down to create headroom. So I'm just going to click the first um, track here and I'm going to um, press control shift and then I'm going to just select all my mixer um, tracks and I'm just going to drop the volumes down maybe like halfway down like this so that everything comes down because if you just drop down the master mix like this the master fader um you st you're still getting that hot signal and so forth so i'm just going to reset that so if i now play it back you can see that everything is now much softer and if you if you see in here um on the tracks themselves nothing is going really loud and stuff like that so that's how you can create instant headroom um, in FL Studio and guys this is like uh, beginner stuff right so I'm just teaching you beginner stuff there's a, a, a myriad of ways you can do this but um, this is an easiest way that I can give you that you can do this as a beginner while you're still trying to learn uh, the more advanced mixing and mastering techniques okay now now that you have this headroom now let's move on to the master what you want to do into the master the first thing is your first slot you see here slot one what you want to add is um a parametric eq2 and i'm gonna add the parametric eq2 and i'm gonna load you see here it says mastering so i'm gonna load the 20 hertz plus 18 kilohertz cut and i'm just gonna leave it there i'm just gonna uh, put it on there because what it does that it cuts out all these unnecessary frequencies that are um uh on in the areas of the eq that we cannot hear and just because we cannot hear these ends and what's out of this eq range it does not mean that it's not there it's just a safety net um, in case there's something there so i'm just going to drop that there and then i'm going to come to number 10 uh slot number 10 that is i'm going to drop in um a fruity limiter so this is just to uh catch any peaks or any loudness um, that will be going on um what we, what we call a uh, transients uh, spikes <laughs> It 
it's going to block any transients that are going to try come up, you know, uh, and go over zero dB. Anything that wants to go over zero dB is going to get stopped just like that wall stopped this kid um, on the bike. Okay, so now we have that limiter on. Cool. Now what we need to do now, a trick that you can do is you can add a soft fruity soft, soft clipper and then you can drop your threshold really low and then you can raise your post. So now let me just play this back quickly. So it's still very low. We just added a little bit of uh, touching up here. It's still sounding very uh, low, but now we can start to uh, raise it up as much as we want. Now that we have all this headroom and we have all the safety net happening, you can do what you want. But um, what I would advise um, for you as a beginner is you can come into your effects and you can add um, a Maximus. All right, so Maximus allows you, it's a, it's a really powerful mastering tool that allows you to do uh, so much on your master. Let me just make it bigger here. So what you could do with uh, Maximus, you can come here to the pre and you can add volume if you want to, um, having the master selected or your post, but you still have the safety net of the soft clipper and another limiter on top. So to add volume, I can just raise to add more volume and if I go to my loudest point which is this point over here and let me just loop that point now let's just take a look at our limiter You can see it's catching peaks, right? You can see it's catching peaks right there. You see right there, it's catching those peaks that are going over. You see these little purple spikes. Those are the peaks that are being caught by the limiter so that it doesn't go over. So you don't want to overdo this. You still want to leave um, some dynamics in your mix, which is these parts over here. So this is uh, the loudest peaks, which are uh, the snare and the log drum. So they can hit zero. So they'll be the loudest point um, in this track and so forth and what you can do what i love with maximus is that you can also control the tone of uh, your track using the um, uh, the eq section so you can play around with the low mid and high and i do have a tutorial explaining how you can play around with this in order to master you can go check that out but what you can do is you can just right click over here on the section here where you have the monitor and just right click and then it will switch to um, the bands. It will show you bands. It will show you your low end, your mid range and your high end. And you can select the lows and the highs. So you can just really move this around to select the bands that you want to choose. So now you can tone your track. If you want to give it more bass and you want to give it more shine, you can use um, this section, these bands to do that. So I'm just going to... So I'm just going to play it and then, then I'm going to play around with uh, uh, these bands and then you're going to see what it's going to be doing. So if I want to add more bass, I could just raise up uh, the bass side and then I can just maybe drag it down so that it's a little bit um, under 100 um, 100 uh, K so that it's, you know, on the low end side so that I leave the, the, the mid range. I don't want to also raise up the mid range while I'm raising up the bass. If I want to add a little bit more shine and trouble, I can raise it up like this and then I can, you know, maybe cut it out a little bit so that it only affects just the highs around here after um, 2K. So let me just raise that bass. You can even drop your mid range, and um, you don't want to drop your mid range so much if if you want to, but you can just drop it a little bit, and so that your all these other frequencies can shine a little bit more. That's if you have maybe a lot of um, 
uh, instruments that are piled up in your mid-range and causing a lot of muddiness so that's a way you can actually remove all that muddiness uh, onto your master so this is just a quick way that you can uh, use to um, achieve a really nice master something really basic that's really beginner friendly if you follow all these steps you can do um, a nice master you can have a really nice master but what you need to do after this is now take your music and listen to it on different um devices listen to it on a phone listen to it on a mono speaker try out different uh, systems and just listen to how it sounds if you feel like maybe the bass is too much or the treble is too much you can just come back to the track and just lower it a little bit and try it out again and go listen back on that system so it's good to have an alternative ref uh, reference uh system that you can use it could be anything it could be your phone it could be um a, a home theater system it could be a, a bluetooth speaker or whatever you have um because just most people are not going to listen to your music on studio monitors if you have studio monitors or studio headphones uh like mine over here so just make sure that you do this and you will have a good master and you can do this while you learn uh, the, the bigger techniques and the better techniques of mastering. Mastering is a really difficult thing to learn very quickly, but there's ways you can master quicker uh, um, ways like this techniques like these that i share here on the channel you can also check out my playlist where i show you guys the more uh, complicated ways of uh, mixing if you want to get in depth with that and as always if you want to support my channel i have links down below in the description to where you can uh, support me you can go check out my samples in my store and if you need mixing mastering services if you don't have time to do this to get it properly done if you want a proper release you can also hit me up in my email as well but um, that's it for this video. If you found this really helpful, drop this video a like and consider subscribing if you're new here. And also share the video so other producers can find this information. But that's it for me and this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. I am X and I'm out. Peace.